I think there are a lot of reasons why Julia became the phenomenon that she did. She was, first of all, lived an extraordinary life and had this whole reservoir of life experience uh, inside of her before she even went on television. And I think that really just came across on camera. I think what was so special about Julia Childs is her authenticity. I think TV shows the honesty in what she was doing, which is realness and how people actually cook. The brilliance of Julia is that she did not take herself seriously. She was studied the craft of cooking, really understood the science and the art behind it, but there was no pretense. What I love most about Julia Child is just how genuine she was. Uh, she would always like mess up in the kitchen and she'd totally be fine with it. And uh, I think that's a really big takeaway from watching her and learning from her. I think she also brought European flavors to America at a time where we were ready for it. The world had opened up after World War II, and she was there to say, here, let me show you how to make this food once you get home. I love the episode of the Chicken Sisters, and it's the epitome of what Julia did and what she was great at. She took something that no one necessarily cared about, right, like different types of chicken, and explained in a really hilarious, fun way why that mattered. So I never had the honor of meeting Julia, but I did get to talk to her on the phone once. I was a very young editorial assistant at Boston Magazine, so I called the number we had on file, and the phone rings, and then I hear, hello, and I almost fainted. I mean, it was amazing. She answered her own phone. She was perfectly lovely. It was a brief conversation, but I am so deeply grateful that I at least got to talk to Julia Child in my lifetime. I had an opportunity to meet Julia, and it was at a really fancy event, and, and then I turn around, and she's standing right next to me, and asked for a pulled pork sandwich, and I'm like, you have all these choices, she goes, I just want pulled pork, and I'm like, this is awesome, you know, to me, it kind of exemplifies that she is a lover of food, and all food. I also think Julia had the perfect mix of accessibility and polish. So she was aspirational, you know, making souffles, making coca vin. At the same time, she wasn't afraid to make a mistake, to laugh at it. She let us watch pancakes fall on the ground. She let us watch her burn food. She let us into the fact that perfection is not the goal. It was never the goal. She opened the door for women chefs to be taken seriously. She opened the door for women of a certain age to be allowed on television to be seen as authorities, not just um, aesthetic objects. And she really was sort of the guiding light for many of us.